Welcome to All For You Castaro. We are back again with another channel message for the collective. We are just going to jump right in and get started. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, the Ten of Swords. Okay, so somebody is feeling defeated. There's an ending here. Oh, we have the Tower in Reverse. Every end is a new begin again. Now this one seems like building from the ground up or starting at the foundation. So I feel like that's really the most important thing. What is this in reference to? Well, yes, forward movement. In order to have any forward movement, you have to kind of have that solid foundation to build upon. Okay, so this could be in love. Um, we do have that King of Cups here. So this is emotion and, and love. You may have come out of or... Now, this could be very recent. This could be a timeline thing. So this could be very recent for some. This could be you just stepping into this point where you're getting ready to build from the beginning or that you've already built your strong foundation. You've had to have a rebuild and a redo in your life where you started and you built from the ground up. Then you had your forward movement and now you're standing in your king of cups, whether masculine or feminine. Um, I feel like you had to bring yourself out of the cold. I feel like this was a lot of, I had to do the work for myself. Um, so whether it was emotional poverty that was the place you were. It's where you landed when everything kind of crumbled down. I feel like maybe you had to start from, I need to learn to love myself before I move forward into any loving situation. I have to love myself. I have to know what um, where my boundaries are. It's like we, you had to set all those healthy boundaries. Yeah, you had to have your rest period. So for some of you, you're stepping into this and congratulations. I know it's hard, but I feel like the rest of your life moving forward will be um, a beautiful adventure when you start to build for yourself and you create those boundaries, those really healthy boundaries. You learn to see the beauty and the value in self. You know your self-worth. So that way when somebody comes in, it doesn't matter what they say, they can't rock you or shake you or break you because you know who you are. Um, and that's the key to becoming a very strong, authentic person is just to be who you are without an apology. Um, and I feel like you have to start sometimes at, at ground zero, you know, after everything tumbles down. You may now be in that um, open energy. You may be the one delivering a message of love with this page of wands. Um, and I feel like there's enthusiasm behind this. There's warmth and excitement behind this love communication. Um, so this could be coming in for you now or this could be you delivering this message to somebody else or trying your hand at um, at love again. So let's see. Yeah, this is taking you to a greener shore. This is transitioning from one way of being to another. And I feel like this is taking that action step to make changes. Yeah, it's a new opportunity. Um, and maybe something you feel that you can invest in, maybe a person you feel like you can invest in, I really like this. Yeah, you're looking for a commitment. Um, I feel like you, you've you been committed to self, but now you feel like you've gotten to a certain place where you can maybe commit to um, expanding and allowing more in um, and being committed to that as well. It's like, I know that I've, I've created some extra room or I'm at a place where I feel very comfortable opening up and bringing in more for myself. Yeah, look, ready to build with a partner. I always see this three of pentacles as being you, your person, and the divine, um, and building together to create something beautiful passionately. Um, yeah, I feel like you're looking good. You're smelling right. I feel like this is that glow up energy as well. You might have just recently gone through a glow up. You could be drawing people in too towards you because you've got this vibrant energy and you're showing up real big. I feel like your intuition's on point as well. I feel like you know, like you can just feel um, almost like what people's intentions are when they come towards you. You might be able to kind of spot a rat a mile away and then spot a good hearted person just as easily, right? Yeah. 
I feel like you came from a place of defeat. It's never forgetting where you had to start from. And I feel like it's also realizing that, you know, even though we're giving it another try, it doesn't mean it's going to turn out perfectly. You know, this is just another try. It could go either way, but I feel like it's being okay knowing that it's like where you're coming from is unshakable and unbreakable. So it's like you're not going to start from the ground up again because you already have that strong foundation, right? So it's knowing that things could go either way. Things could go sideways, but I feel like you know you'd be okay. You've got those healthy boundaries. I feel like your bounce back from here would be very easy. Um, so I feel like that's why you don't mind giving it a try. It's like, we know it could go either way, but we're not really worried about it. We're more ready to have the experience and take the chance. I feel like you know victory is coming, though. Um, I feel like you're getting recognized for being who you are. I feel like you're you're seen very clearly, whether you're masculine or feminine, as this Queen of Wands. Very powerful, um, very vibrant, and I feel like a magnet to really good things. And I don't just feel like it's people, although I do feel like that's a big part of this. I feel like, um, you know, monetarily, you probably get the position or you get the opportunities. It's like, I don't know, you've just got something that I hear all eyes on you. So, you might not have to say anything when you walk into a room. I do feel like your vibration, your energy announces you. Um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing here as well. You do have this loving, nurturing personality as well. I feel like a depth of emotion. I feel like you're the one that's got it all. I feel like you do have that Empress, Queen of Queens type energy. Um, and maybe some of that go-getter as well. Maybe some emperor energy kind of shining through with that action-oriented energy. Yeah. I feel like you're going to have victory when you step towards this soulmate. So whether someone's stepping towards you or you're going towards someone else, it does look like it's going to be victorious. Yeah, look. Arrows of love and passion. I feel like there's just something about you. No matter what it is, it's like you've got it, whatever it is. Yeah, this is a brand new beginning with that Knight of Pentacles, and it's a steady, stable offer. Yeah, it's a victory. It, there's clarity there. I feel like between two people who kind of see each other very clearly and understand it is what it is. Um, yeah, now this doesn't have to be a brand new person. This could be a past person. We do have judgment here. So, you know, could go either way. Um, I do feel like this is lovers rising up from the grave. So whether the two of you had a past or whether the two of you had separate pasts and you're just kind of rising up from that grave, you know, getting back on that horse, riding off into the sunset and trying something new or going in a new direction. This is that we're rebirthing almost into the new. Uh, we're making a judgment call to do a certain thing or go in a certain direction. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be very balanced moving forward as well. Yeah, very balanced, very stable. I feel like emotionally balanced as well. I love this. Yep, it's you making a decision. Even though, it's like, like I said, things could go either way. And I feel like spirit really wanted to stress that. It's like, I feel like that's how you know when you're ready to step into a new relationship. It's like, if you're so afraid of getting hurt that you're, you're only kind of dipping a toe in, maybe you're not ready. I feel like when we're ready, the difference is we're ready to jump in, whether it turns out good or bad. It's like, we'll be fine. We know we'll be fine. It's like, it's just an opportunity to move forward. And it's taking that up, that opportunity and being excited about it. It's not worrying about whether it's going to flop or fall. It's just knowing it's the new experience. And I feel like that's how you know you're ready to step into something new. Um, before then you might, uh, you might not be ready. I love that. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Collective. Where do we want to go from here? I've got a bunch of cards. Okay. We'll go here. You want to go here? Yes. All right. All right. What do we have for this gorgeous collective? Whoa. Okay. We have the sun, strength, empowerment, warmth. Oh, you just keep wanting to kind of come out there an apology. Okay. You know, someone might be coming back around to um, ask for forgiveness or to give an apology about something, maybe past behaviors or 
for whatever. Now, this could also be you. You could be empowering yourself by apologizing to someone from your past. Let's see. What else about this spirit? What do we have about this situation? We have the masculine, but it was in reverse. Maybe someone wasn't acting out in their best behavior. Maybe their action moves were a bit hurtful or um, egoic. Maybe that's where they were coming from. I, I do kind of look at the masculine in reverse as like the emperor in reverse. So um, maybe using logic and um, ego to make power moves versus considering other people's feelings. I feel like it's okay, I think, well, maybe sometimes if you're doing this in business, you know, it's always good to take your heart with you. It's it's great to use your mind and, um, you know, make those really smart moves. But I feel like when you take emotion out of the picture completely, that kind of leaves room for making really like moving in sideways. And I feel like Maybe that's what this person, yeah, it could have been self-sabotage. We have it in reverse and guilt in reverse. And I feel like that's why this apology is coming in. I do feel like this is coming in towards you, Collective. Yeah, they were in the air, in the mind. Um, we do have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here. So could be, or you could be, doesn't have to be. This could all just be the way this person was thinking. They were in their head too much and not really involving their heart is what I feel. gratitude, present, and abundance was in reverse. They may have made some really poor moves that led them to be, um, you know, sabotaging themselves and to be in a place where they're not fully present. They're not standing in their abundance or they're not um, magnetizing that in. They're not thankful for what they have. It's that greed and that I want more type of energy that was kind of there. So let's see. What else do we have, Spirit? Whoop. Okay. We have a stalemate and avoidance in reverse. So maybe there was a stalemate. We want to come back in and see if we can get things moving in the right direction. I feel like I hear bland or cold. So, um, and I heard it over here with the air as well. It's like, I feel like that was the energy between the two of you. Um, and now look, Venus. So we want to bring this back around. We want to bring the love back in. We want to make an offer. This could be somebody from the past. Now, I don't know. It could be your deep past. It could be someone that you just know of from your past. This could be someone that you've met in passing. So it could go, you know, any sort of way. But I do feel like this person had wronged you in some way. Uh, you know, maybe they said some really harsh words about you. Sometimes, you know, when you're not involving your emotions, you can say some pretty harsh things, right? Um, and I do hear hurt people hurt people, so that could be something involved in this situation too. There is some sort of attraction. There is that Mars hot, hot energy going on. Um, so this could be a romantic thing that they're trying to, yeah. We do have disharmony, triggers, and conflict. Maybe it was something about you and this person. Maybe you triggered them uh, into healing or into... I hear disarm them, and I feel like that might be the thing. This person could have been walking in their ego, and they were completely fine with that until they realized that they kind of fell in love with you, Collective. I feel like everything you did sort of triggered them, and I feel like the love that maybe you wanted to share with them disarmed them, and that was terrifying. I feel like that they could have been attracted to you, but maybe said some harsh things to you. I feel like you were a threat to their mask uh, at the time. Yeah, we do have soul ties in reverse. It's like you may have even said, you know, I feel this connection to you or there's a connection between us. This person may have denied that maybe in front of a group of people or um, just pretended like they didn't see it. Like I said, I think you were a threat to the mask that they, they were wearing. They might have tried to dull what they thought they felt or um, tried to talk themselves out of feeling anything. I feel like what they did is they convinced themselves that you were dangerous to them in some way because you threatened their the way that they were existing and the way that they were, I want to say the way that they were getting by. I want to say that they were 
um, surviving, not thriving. And I feel like you might have been coming from a place where you were thriving. And I feel like those two things don't really go together. It's like, I know you could fake it till you make it in some cases, but I feel like in this one, this person had to take some time out to really uh, grow and heal and um, figure out why they were wearing the mask that they were wearing, why they were making the decisions that they made. And I feel like maybe that came up. This could have been some time in between. We have inspection and watching and spying. This person might not be able to see really what you're up to. You might get a little things here and there, um, but I feel like it's not enough. This person's maybe trying to look for a way in. We do have higher self in reverse. So I feel like for a long time, this person was kind of avoiding the healing process, avoiding listening to their guides. Um, and I feel like maybe they're just now in a state of allowance where the guidance is coming through. It's like, I hear why talk when you can stalk. And I know there's another reader who says that. I just can't think of who it is. Uh, props to you if you're out there listening because it's so true. It's like, I feel like there are a lot of people out there who, if they can see what you're up to, that means they don't have to come in and actually talk to you. They don't actually have to heal things or work through things or to utilize that as an excuse to kind of hold back. It's like, well, they seem to be happy. I don't want to bother them. Or, you know, it, it's got some type of a, it's almost like a way of deterring the self from kind of going through the rest of the healing process. I feel like this person could really benefit from the healing and maybe you could as well. Maybe there were some harsh things said between the two of you that would be um, healing if discussed. So what do we have here? We have alchemy, ancestors, and guidance. Now look, that's in reverse. I feel like this person's, you know, they may be a little stubborn, this person. Um, it's like the, I can do it myself, or I don't need to lean on spirit, or guides, or ancestors. You know, this person could be, um, what's that called when you don't indulge in a belief system and it's okay to be that way oh atheist right right so this person may not believe in the same things that you do um because i feel like you have a belief system that may be something that stopped this person too that may have been a topic of um i want to say disagreement or I don't know, this person could have talked badly about you and questioned your sanity because you had a belief system. Does that make sense to you? I feel like it will to some. Don't take it if it doesn't resonate. Don't pick it up if it's not for you. <laughs> These are general readings as always. Um, so take what resonates and toss the rest. But I do feel like for some of you that, that could have been a thing. That could have been um, maybe something that they were downing you for or, you know, I just feel like you were a threat to this person and they utilized any tool in their arsenal or anything you kind of put out there as a tool to kind of take you down. Um, you were a threat to this person's, what's that? Um, like a, oh, it's gone. It's there and it's gone. I wanted to say Flynn Rider. It's their... A fake reputation. Thank you. I heard a fake reputation is all a man has. Uh, a man or a woman could go either way, but I do feel like you were a threat. Um, we have closed off, guarded, and resistant in the reverse. So I feel like now this person wants to come in. They want to create stability uh, between the two of you. They still might not have a belief system. They still might not want to be indulging in a connection with spirit. Um and they don't have to, I guess, you know, if that's what they, you know, that's how they walk through the world. They depend on, now I don't really know much about it. Um, you could teach me in the comments in a very kind way. I'd be very, very thankful. Um, you know, I always like to see a different perspective and just because your way is different than my way doesn't mean it's the wrong way. Um, so I feel like what it could possibly be is that they just don't depend on things outside of themselves. They kind of look at themselves and they make moves that they know are the right moves. And it's like they depend on themselves 
to kind of hold the standard and I feel like that's what it is. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking that's what it is. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's believing in yourself to know right from wrong and to make the right choices. It doesn't mean they can't be a good person, a nice person, a, a whole person because they don't have a belief system, right? They could just have that belief in self. Um, and I kind of feel like that might be the thing. I feel like as long as they don't mind and they allow you to have your beliefs and to, you know, do your own thing, I think two people can coexist very happily in love and happiness, even if that is not the same as somebody else. Um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing. Yeah, I feel like there was a level of toxicity in it in the past. They were bound to sort of maybe downing people that didn't uh, walk like they did or didn't move like they did. I feel like that was the difference. Anything else? Oh my, that was a lot. Yeah, look, beliefs in reverse, um, that facade in reverse. So I feel like it's not that they had a problem with what you were believing in or that might have been the point of where you said, well, if this person just thinks I'm a bad person or I'm not a sane person or I'm not a good person because of my belief system, it's like I could see somebody moving in a new direction collective. I could see you saying, well, this is pointless. It's like I'm trying to show this person who I am as a person and sharing bits and pieces of myself. And it's like, and then they're kind of talking about it in a very negative way. I could see that deterring you from wanting to deal with this person at all. I feel like it was what they wanted, but at the same time, it's not what they wanted. It's like in a perfect world, they would have been able to have you and keep their mask on, right? Um, but it just didn't work that way. The, the illusion, yeah, the illusion is in reverse. The confusion is in reverse. I feel like this person has done a great deal of growing. Maybe they had to become secure in who they were as a person and in their um, either belief system or lack thereof. It's like just being confident in themselves and their authenticity, right? I feel like that's super important. They don't have to be tempted to uh, deceive people or to put others down to make themselves raise up, right? Um, I do feel like this cycle is not complete because I feel like it all comes down to they want to come back around and make that apology. Yeah, they have yet to communicate with a feminine energy. And I don't feel like you have to be a feminine. Um, I do feel like maybe you were a nurturing, loving energy. And this person was a little fearful of that energy. Maybe it was a bit foreign. Um, so it does have something like that going on here. But I do feel like this person wants to come back around. Is there anything else, Spirit? Uh, they may be coming back around. Yeah, the cold in reverse, detached in reverse. They do want to come back around. This could be happening very, very soon. Could be as soon as today. Could be throughout, um, I want to say throughout the summer months. So could be from now through summer. I feel like they just want to heal things and either move forward with you or just be able to move forward from you. I feel like it's got to go either way because I feel like this this person might not be able to get you out of their thoughts or their system. It's like I hurt someone while I was hurting or while I was confused. And I feel like it's realizing that that's not okay and taking responsibility for actions. I think that's extremely wonderful. That shows such a beautiful amount of growth. Um, even if there isn't the opportunity to move forward with you, they just want to be able to move forward from you right so but I think they realized that there was love there or there was connection there it was the fact that they were trying to deny it that kind of you know I feel like they know they hurt you okay what do I want I want this oh what is going on okay let's see we have another interesting deck here all right what do we have for the collective oh I see you whatever you are we have honesty and truth in reverse. Okay. I do kind of feel a little tether. So this may be a continuation or a separate situation altogether. So. All right. We have dating and meeting someone new. Okay. We have shapeshifter and mimicking in reverse. Hmm. 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 I don't know why I wanted to hear that dun, dun, dun. Um, I feel like someone may be thinking about coming in but not speaking a truth. 
Um, I feel like maybe this person was downing you in the past or I do kind of see a tether to the last reading. It's like where the last person wanted to come in and they wanted to apologize for poor behavior of the past. This would be a person wanting to come back in because regardless of whether or not they said they felt the connection, they did. Do they want to come back in with an honest apology? No. They kind of want to sidestep that and slide in sideways. It's like get away with not kind of pointing themselves out for what they did in the past. They may have bad mouthed you all around the neighborhood and then, you know, they're at a point where they want to come back in and maybe start dating you or take you out on a date. Um, this may be the type of person who wants to keep it really, uh, really quiet. I feel like, wow, look at this. I'm sorry and an apology, but I feel like collective, this is going to be something they realize is absolutely necessary. You're not going to give this person the time of day unless they come in with an apology. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. And maybe you owe them an apology too. I'm sorry for the way I reacted. That's okay. I'm not saying that, you know, everything this person did was wrong. Two people kind of create a situation, you know? But I do feel like without this coming in, you're not even willing to give this person a moment. It's like they could be nice looking all they want. They could be nice looking all the way over there. It's like that, the way you look is not going to carry for your whole, um, it's like I'm not going to automatically forgive you because you're, you're good looking or because, you know, people want you. No, no, no. Um, it's like if you don't come in with changed behavior and showing who you actually are, I feel like collective, you're not going to be about it at all. It's like doesn't matter how good looking you are. It's like if you're an ugly person on the inside, it's like we're not having it. It's like it's a no. And I keep feeling like I'm so agitated right now. It's like how dare you is what I want to say. How dare you? Um, yeah, look, a hookup or a one night stand. They might have thought that they could get away with that. This person I feel like was trying to slide in sideways. They wanted to just have you the way they wanted you. They thought their looks would be something enough that was enough to kind of get you to be like, oh, yeah, no, it's fine. The past is the past. Uh, and I hear hell no. <laughs> so I feel like I'm dealing with somebody who knows who they are, who knows what they deserve, who sees their self-worth um, and set healthy boundaries. I love that. I love that for you. I feel like that's such a powerful stance. Um, you just, it's saying no to the BS all the way around and you don't deserve to be mistreated. You don't be, you don't deserve to be looked at as a piece of meat or, um, this person looks at everybody as just an opportunity to, I don't know, have their needs met. And that's all that, th that's all they see. So two different types of people, but I do kind of see where this is. It's like where they could come in and give an apology. Now, I don't know if this person's going to be forced to change their mind. I don't know if they're just coming in in their ego and it's like they actually have something underneath of it all is a possibility. Let's see. Let's keep going. Freedom and surrender. You know, this person might not want to surrender that freedom. But there's something about her or there's something about him. Basically, collective, there is something about you that draws this person in. They would love to have their cake and eat it too. I feel like that's not even an option be for you because it's like, I'm not looking for that sweet in the now. I'm looking for that pearl of a person, someone who can give me that longevity walking into the future. I feel like I'm talking to people who are not out looking for a good time. So if that's you, that's totally fine. You can be out looking for a good time and you could be hopping from person to person. That is entirely up to you. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. That is the way you wanna maneuver and you feel good about that, awesome. I'm happy for you, but I feel like I'm talking to somebody who is looking for more. They're not just looking for a good time. It's different if two people looking for a good time find each other. That's awesome, um, but that's not the situation here. I feel like this person is coming in sideways. They don't want to give an apology. They want to just slide into someone that they have 
feelings for but would never want to admit it. It's like they never want to just settle down. They don't want to lose their freedom. Yeah, safety and comfort. I feel like you offer that and they want that, but they don't want to give up this. They don't want to give up the freedom to have that. And I feel like this person is just not someone who's ready. Probably not the healthiest of choices collective. Oh wait, I saw something. Oh, where did you go? I feel like one was flipped. It is. Okay, what are you? Uh, single, in reverse, not in a relationship, exactly. I feel like they know that in order to have you in the way that they want you, they have to give up their freedom. Now, I hear disappointed. I feel like this person is going to be utterly disappointed that you are who you say you are. Oh, I don't know. I'm not disappointed, but I feel like this person is. Again, they want their cake. They want to eat it too. Um, inspiration in reverse. Magic in reverse. I hear minimize. I feel like this person wants to minimize you and the magic that you carry. It's like they don't want you to know that you've got this power, this magnetism that draws them in. They don't want you to know you hold any sort of power. Um, they may come in kind of like blowing themselves up and puffing out their chest like they're the one in charge they're the one with the magic you should feel I don't know enamored with them and it's like I feel like they want you to see them the way they see you they'd never admit it but you carry an inspiration you inspire that you could be this person's muse um, and they might not want to say that, but I feel like that's the truth. You're this person's muse. You're the one that kind of propels them forward in certain ways. Magnetic attraction and passion in reverse. That's exactly it. They have this pull towards you that they don't want to uh, acknowledge. They don't want to... I feel like they don't even want to admit it to themselves that you have this pull. We have marriage and sacred union in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person may be one of those people that hops in and out of your life. And I feel like they're still not ready when they come back in. They're not ready. They still want to play. They still want to have fun. Um, listen, I can't tell you which one this person is. If you want to take a chance, that's entirely up to you. This particular reading, if this resonates, excuse me, yeah, there's a bit of sour. I feel like this person is still coming in in an unhealed energetic, right? You're not going to get that commitment. You're not going to get that sacred union. They're just not ready. You might be ready, uh, but this person is not ready. Uh, they're not ready to trust in themselves. I feel like they just have more self-work to do. Um, and if you want to uh, wait around for this person, I wanted to say date around for this person. So I do kind of feel like spirit wanted to say that if you want to date around, that's fine. You know, you don't have to feel like just because you feel a connection with someone that you have to wait on them. I would never encourage that only because you could wait for someone that never shows up, right? They never get to the point where they want to actually use that free will choice to put in the effort to become who they need to become in order to be in alignment with you, right? So I would never encourage anyone to put their life on hold for anyone else. Um, so if you want to date around because this person is not where they need to be, I feel like maybe you need to hear that spirit says it's okay to do that. Um, you may feel that connection. You may love this person, but you may have to know that it's not a healthy situation and you might have to kind of set that healthy boundaries until this person can maybe come in with um, that healing in place, right? I feel like you'll know it. You'll see it. It'll be different. They'll show up differently um, versus being an ego. They'll show up in a very humble loving way and I feel like that's how you'll know that they've gotten to where they needed to be right so take your time with anyone that you kind of want a relationship with I feel like you don't have to jump in with both feet I feel like the right person won't push you they won't um now I'm not saying it won't progress quickly when it's the right person it very well could but I feel like both of you would be on board with that right it would just be flowing so easily that it would move forward quickly I'm not saying that couldn't happen with with someone but 
Um, I feel like for the most part, take your time, really test the waters. You don't have to jump in like that, you know, in order for it to go somewhere. Let's see, is there anything else Spirit wants to kind of put out there for the collective? Yeah, we have strategic and player. I feel like their moves, their strategies, they don't work with you. I feel like you're just not playing the game with them. You're you're not indulging in their crappy behavior. You're not looking at it as, oh, I should chase this person. Yes, I'm going to chase this person and show them and prove to them that they should choose me. No, I feel like I have never once seen an emperor or an empress chase somebody who's playing games with them. Never once. <laughs> it's never happened and I don't believe it ever will. Um, seat yourself in that emperor empress and know you're too good for the games. Um, that you deserve more, especially when you know you have more to give. Don't listen to people who tell you love doesn't exist. Um, if you have it within you and you know you have it to give, you already know it exists. So how could it not exist in someone else, right? Uh, so don't listen to that BS because I feel like a lot of people will try to spit that towards an emperor or an empress to try to knock you off your throne or off your A-game. I don't think it will. But just in case if it makes you feel some kind of way, just know if you have it to give, it exists. <laughs> um, third party interaction in reverse or interference in reverse as well. Um, I feel like there isn't a third party here because you're not getting involved. You're just not willing to do that. This person could be connected, fully connected in a relationship or um, a, a full something else going on and then still trying to gain your attention and your 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 time. Um, it's because your love feels good. It's because they're magnetized to you. But it doesn't mean that they deserve that energy if they're not willing to give to you too right? Um, I feel like you deserve to be poured into, um, just in case you needed that reminder. So we have call and then it says hearing from them in reverse. You might not hear from this person for a while. And I feel like that could be a little sad. It could be a little, um, disheartening, but I feel like this person is just not ready. And that's what I want to tell you. Yeah. Keeping secrets and lies when they come towards you and they're ready to spill and they're ready to be humble that's when you'll know. I feel like, but not until then. Okay, so this person may try to kind of reach out in roundabout ways or put things out there to make you think they're interested in again, or maybe they're they're on their, they're up and up. Um, I feel like, don't, like, look before you leap, I feel like is what I want to say. All right, I'm going to pull from, do I want this one? Wow, I do. Okay, so we've got another uh, relationship message. All right, let's see what else uh, Spirit wants to put out today. I feel like this might be the last one. All right, wow, okay, so this one. All right, we have entrapment, pregnancy, money, and heartstrings. Oh my, and drastic, extreme harsh cutoff. Okay, collective, I wanna say be careful out there. First and foremost, be careful out there. I feel like somebody might be trying to trap you with a child it could go either way it could be masculine or feminine trying to baby trap someone try to pull on your part your heartstrings somebody may be telling you that they're pregnant and that you're the daddy or you're you know uh this is you your thing we should stay together or we're gonna have a child together i feel like you might even have found out, now this could go a little further, this could be somebody was doing this to you, trying to keep you from moving in a new direction because they knew you wanted to go. Um, they could be saying something along the lines of, or could have been saying that you were the father. It's got that energy. Um, but I feel like once you found out the truth, you cut this person off and it was harsh and it was drastic. Um, it's like you ran in the other direction. I do feel like it, it it could go either way. It could be, you know, masculine or feminine trying to pull some craziness when it comes to a child. Um, somebody could be poking holes in protection. So just be careful out there. I mean, I hear it's pretty, um, uh, I can't, I don't know if I can say that online, but it, it's dangerous. It's dangerous out there. <laughs> so be careful. Let's see where else. Divine feminine. Okay. Somebody could be trying to trap a divine feminine. They like the way that you nurture them. They like the way that you, um, 
I hear drastic times call for drastic measures. Okay, so I am almost seeing a tether to the last two readings. So you could have that person coming in hoping that they could just get you pregnant or and then find a way to stay in your life. It's like so they can still have what they want and still have you too. Um, so that kind of goes with the last one. Now, the one before that, I thought they were a little more healed. So I don't know if they would be the one coming in trying to trap a feminine. Or this is the opposite. This is, a well, see, I, I don't think it can be the opposite. Because if you're standing in your divine feminine energy, you're... I don't know, you're you're in your good energy and I don't feel like this is like the divine feminine in reverse. So I am going to leave it there. Not that a woman or a divine feminine couldn't be on, um, you know, a woman couldn't be on bad behavior or someone who stands in feminine energy. But when you put divine in front of that, I just feel like, you know, you're acting in your highest energy. There we go. We get there in the end. I'm starting to babble. I'm sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> okay, legal matters. Okay, look, that's what I'm saying. They're looking to be trapped. I don't know if you have money. I don't know if somebody's trying to trap themselves to someone who has money. This this divine feminine looks like she um, is doing well for herself. She's got her big shinies on. She's got this lovely gown and she's looking fabulous um, and completely unbothered. So someone may be wanting to kind of attach their energy. I, I see a hook, so hook their energy to yours could be an escapade yeah um they might try to take you on a, a getaway an adventure and then um try to trap you legally somehow um whether it's through monetary things i don't know i just feel like this person is trying to hook themselves yeah this is the threat i i do want to say um threatened embarrassed appearances and i feel like this could be a future thing. It's like, please be careful out there. Um, people's intentions aren't always aren't always good. Yours could be good, but that doesn't mean somebody else's intentions are. Um, and I just I, I just want the best for you, and I want you to really um, be careful with yourself. Come together. Spiritual union, soul contract. Um. Okay. I hate this. This really upsets me. But we're going to we're going to go in there. There are people out there who will say that they have a divine connection with you in order to use you and abuse you. Um some people out there are monstrous when it comes to spiritual people. They look at you as if you're naive, as if you don't see the truth of things, and I feel like those of you who are out there looking for divine love could be at a disadvantage when it comes to people in low-lying negative energies trying to use you for the fact that you're loving and kind and you're nurturing. Um, maybe you're always doing the right thing. You're, you're on the up and up and they wouldn't mind being attached to someone like you or feeding off of someone like you. So Unfortunately, this is a thing in the spiritual community. There are predator type people that come into the spiritual community because they want to prey on people that they think are less intelligent or, you know what I mean? Um, it, it's, they see a victim in you. And I feel like there are a lot of us out there that know how to defend ourselves. So I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like you should really be very careful and um, take your time before jumping in with someone. Not everyone that says they love you loves you, okay? Um, and I know that's a shitty thing. It really, really is. Um, and I feel like there are a lot of people out there who have dealt with this. Um, big hugs to you if you have. This does kind of feel a little triggering here. Dealt with people who want to utilize you because you're kind. Okay, I feel like... There might be a lot of you out there who are done with that type of energy. It's like maybe you're not even looking for somebody in the spiritual community being spiritual yourself. Um, so that could be for some. It's like there are some who take it to the extreme. And I feel like there's a healthy way to do it. And then there's a less than healthy way. If you're in the spiritual community, you know what I'm talking about. Um, denial. You know, I feel like you might not 
be this person's victim. And I feel like you're done with that type of weird behavior. You're denying this person um, when it comes to their advances um, for a physical connection between the two of you. I feel like they may try to utilize that at first and then kind of drop the act. But this, make no mistake, this person is a clown coming in. And th they want you so badly to buy a ticket to their crazy circus. Get hit in the face with all those red flags as you're walking in. Um, I don't love this. TikTok, I feel like their time is running out. I feel like they know that you're off in search of. And if they can get in there, they'll be set. And that's what I hear. They'll be set for life. It's like, I don't know if they think you have money or you have that energy that would kind of tide them over. They could hold your coattails and fly in the direction of whatever and not have to put in the effort. It, it does kind of have that energy. So it could go either way, masculine or feminine. We don't discriminate here. Yeah, plugged in. It's like this person wants to plug into your energy and get you on lockdown. Yeah. They can put you in a mental prison or, yeah. See the synchronicities? I feel like you'll have signs kind of trying to show you. Um, and I feel like very black and white signs at that. It's like you'll be able to clearly see this person. I feel like spirit's not going to allow you to really fall into this situation. Um, but please be vigilant. Uh, keep those eyes open. You might desire this person. And that's the thing. I feel like... And I am hearing, um, I don't know what your belief system is, but I feel like just as like a, they say the devil was once very beautiful, right? Um, and I feel like that's the thing here too. Um, this person may be utilizing every tool at their disposal to step in and uh, sway you, right? Look, access granted, that's what they're going for. But I feel like you realize there are... Um, differences here and it says divorce and final so I feel like this is going to be the last that you hear from this person if you say no um this person could be a drama king or queen they're thirsty they're causing chaos they might try to do that after the fact after there's a no in place there could be some form of retaliation yeah settlement agreement compromise I do feel like this is you going in a different direction. I almost want to say dating someone else or stepping into something new. Single and a roller coaster. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like this could be a dangerous situation. I do want to tell you just to watch yourself. This person would take you on that, that roller coaster ride. I do feel like this person has narcissistic tendencies as well. Um... I do hear emperor in reverse, empress in reverse. Maybe someone who pretends that they could nurture you but is very um, harsh and unkind and very dismissive. And as far as the emperor, you know, that that I'll protect you, that I'll make these great moves for us. I'll make sure um, that we have the right action steps in place. This person would be putting you down while they stepped forward and keeping you in the shadows. It's like, it's got that energy where they would stay in control and they wouldn't help you rise to, you know, kind of rule beside them. They would, they would make you feel small or insignificant. So that's, that's the difference here. And I, I just want to say, keep your eyes peeled out there to this beautiful spiritual community. You're loving, you're kind, and you are a prize. And sometimes those low lying negatives, they see you as that prize, but they don't want to see you glow in your full potential because you'll know that they're not enough, right? Um, and it's not that they couldn't be, it's that they don't, they don't want to rise to that. They don't want to step into their light to accomplish it. All right. So your initials, their initials. I feel like that's a lot, but let's see if we can get this all situated here. All right. I heard something about a Q&A. So questions and answers. Um, I don't know if somebody wants to sit down with you and ask you questions and it could be about your beliefs. It doesn't have to be, but I do kind of feel like, you know, cause I was seeing different, uh, religious symbols, um, or spiritual symbols. So 
that could be the case. Maybe they want to know exactly what your belief system is. Um, some people just want to know. I feel like they're gauging to see if you're standing in the light or in the darkness. And I feel like um, it's like they wouldn't mind if your belief system is different from their own. But I feel like if it's too different where they feel like they can't resonate there, then they'll make a choice to move in another direction. I just feel like, you know, there are some things that they'll allow. I hear I'll allow it. And it's like, um, it's like if you still have the same core values like love, light, protection, peace. It's like we want for the same things, honesty, loyalty, truth, right? Um, as long as your values are in alignment with my values, it's like you're free to believe what you want to believe, right? Um, and I do kind of get that here because I was actually seeing what looked like a cross and what looked like a pentacle, right? So it's like, um, I guess it just depends. I'm also seeing a Jewish star and then the pentacle. So it's like, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, wow. My throat. This may be a hard thing for someone to kind of, I want to say, uh, broach the topic reach the topic. I don't know. The words came out wrong. doesn't matter. Um, for them to kind of bring it up to you, it's like maybe they don't know how to say it or they don't know how to show with, it's like they don't want to alert you to think that they're viewing you as being wrong. I feel like it's not to hurt your feelings or anything like that, but I feel like they just need to know if the two of you can mesh on some sort of level. Um, I feel like that's maybe somebody's and I hear something about June. So maybe in June, this kind of conversation could come up. Uh, someone wondering what your beliefs actually are. I feel like that's a really important thing. I hear, by the way, I don't know. I heard something about hot dogs. <laughs> It looks like people going to a game and grabbing hot dogs or or going to a carnival and grabbing hot dogs. I don't know. Could be a date thing or a boardwalk thing. Yeah, it just looked like two people out having a good time. So I guess maybe somebody's thinking of doing like just a really fun date. All right, what do we have? All right. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got travel here. Somebody might be traveling to see family. Could be, maybe for a little vacation. You also may be traveling away. Now this could involve a move as well and you could be moving quite a distance. This could be a physical move, you know, packing up all your things and moving somewhere else. I hear to the furthest furthest hill and these look like mountains in this little thing. So maybe it's a goal to live in a certain area and maybe you're making that move or somebody could be making that move and coming towards you, maybe moving closer to family. I do feel like this is also somebody could be going on a trip or a vacation and maybe falling in love with a certain place and deciding that they want to live there someday, maybe retire there someday, something like that. Um, you could have just fell in love with it. It's like um, the culture, the people, the just everything about it. The I hear the ambiance. It's like the the feeling that it gives you there um, might be the reason you're pulled specifically there. I feel like vibrationally, there's a reason you would have to go where you're going anyway. It could just be on a small trip. It could just be, um, you know, just a little getaway. And then, like I said, you fall in love. I feel like you really see with clarity while you're there. Maybe it's a place where your mind finds peace and your, you know, your thoughts get unjumbled. Sometimes that's a really big thing. Sometimes where we're at is not the best place for us. Um, I feel like that could be for somebody. Somebody may be traveling for work. You might find great abundance there as well. There might be um, a place there where you feel like you could be moving for a job and it could be quite a distance. Um, but I feel like there's a great amount of abundance to be had. Maybe you'll be able to save for retirement that much easier or um, it'll put you in a place where you're very comfortably walking through this life. I feel like there's an abundance to be had and it could be, like I said, it could be a vacation thing or it could be an actual work thing. 
you might almost be scared away from the place you're living now. There could be a situation that happens where you are now or an incident and then it makes you feel like, okay, look, this is not for me. Like say you live in the city and something scary happens and you're like, okay, look, I want to move somewhere out, maybe towards the suburbs where it feels a little less stressful or um, maybe you've been working too much in the city and you're like, wow, I need something that's a little more remote, a little more relaxed. Maybe you could work on the computer and you can work from anywhere. So it's like, why not make a move? Um, it could be something like that as well, but I do feel like there is a scary something that just makes you feel like, okay, it's time to go. Um, and I did see something about a drink and someone putting something in a drink. So be careful out there. Um, always guard your drinks while you're out. I know I don't need to say it, but I'm a mom and so I'm going to say it anyway. Mama stars like, hey, watch your drinks while you're out having a good time. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Okay. Um, can't trust everybody. I know we'd like to, but even sometimes people you've known for a while, sometimes you can't trust them. Um, we do have health, wealth, and happiness, and I feel like that's what's that's where you're going. That's where you're kind of being guided to. So I don't know if it's guiding you there now just for a view of the future that you might eventually go there or go back there, or this is making that move and really finding abundance where you're at. And I feel like very clearly being able to see that. I really love this. This is not for everybody, but I do feel like it is for quite a few somebodies. All right, that is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Afiyukas Tribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.